Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, today, I wanna take just a moment to talk about the uh, new kit that Kanakit sent over to me. This is the Raspberry Pi 4 Extreme Kit. Uh, this is a Raspberry Pi 4, uh, eight gig. Uh, it comes with a 128 gig micro SD card and a new custom case from Kanakit. Now the new case is aluminum in construction and has a built-in heat sink that makes the entire case thermally conductive to help dissipate heat. But uh, let's go ahead and get away from my stupid face for a minute and go take a look at uh, the kit, getting everything put together, and then we'll do some thermal testing and uh, let you see the results for yourself. Okay guys, so this is the package that the folks over at Kanakit sent me. Uh, I've already been through it once or twice, but uh, I didn't actually open anything. So let's go ahead and dig through here. Uh, this is the README first. Uh, so if you got any questions, make sure everything is there. Make sure you've got the right power supplies. Uh, pretty standard stuff. I love that they send this in every package. Uh, so you know what your pinout is going to be. Uh, love that they include that. Well done. Um, so there's that. Uh, we got a, an HDMI to micro HDMI cable there. Those are always handy to have. Uh, looks like they actually sent uh, a couple of those maybe. Or maybe, maybe I threw an extra one in there. I don't know. But you get at least one of those, so that's good. Uh, this is uh, like uh, this is their extreme kit, uh, so know that this is a 128 gigabyte micro SSD. Or this is a this is a 128 gig micro SD card uh, to to put your operating system on and whatnot. Uh, so I love that they've included a really decent sized uh, micro SD card there. Uh, we've got our little uh, power button uh, adapter there. That's always super handy to have. Oh, let's see. We get uh, an SD card adapter for USB. It's USB 2.0, though. Um, there, are, there are other ways to do this. Um, I wish they would uh, upgrade that to a 3.0, but, you know, what do you do? Uh, so we've got a power supply here. Uh, this is the standard can of kit uh, power supply, so that's uh, always nice to have. Of course, we get the Raspberry Pi. Uh, this is the 8 gig model. Again, we're dealing with the extreme kit here. Uh, so this is the eight gig model that I'm taking out uh, really for the first time here. Uh, so let's, uh, there we go. Uh, so we know what these look like. These are these are pretty cool. I uh, love uh, that it's the eight gig kit. Uh, so I'm gonna set that aside uh, for just a moment here. But this is what they really wanted me to show you guys. Uh, is their new aluminum case. Uh, this has actually got some heft to it. So let's get this out of here like so. And the first thing I notice uh, touching the top and the bottom is that they are uh, both like a very soft touch feel. Uh, actually feels really, really nice. Um, so bottom comes off like so. Uh, and then of course there's uh, some screen or some, some screws to hold all that on as well as uh, a, a contact, uh, uh, a thermal uh, pad there. That's the word I'm looking for, thermal pad. And then here you can see uh, this, uh, piece right here that sticks way out. That's going to go on your main chip right there. And then uh, let's see, I think, I think I managed to get this out. Yeah. For whatever reason, if you wanted to, uh, you could take this off uh, and right there, oh, I guess you do need to take that off to, uh, to put the screws in. That's why that comes off of there. Um, but here you can see uh, that that is really deeply recessed in there uh, to make good contact with uh, the CPU chip. So uh, that is what that is for there. So let's go ahead and see about putting this thing together. There we go. Helps you slot it in the right way. So that's good to go there. Go ahead and put that on. Looks like there's a, a little gap uh, right here on the side. Maybe you can run um, cables or something through that. Maybe that's just for uh, some passive cooling. But let's go ahead and get our screws in. Let me find a little screwdriver over here, like so. Which this tells me that I was wrong just a moment ago about uh, the purpose of this coming off. I, I, I don't know why. Uh, this plate comes off, but it does, and it feels really nice. Again, it's a soft touch plastic, uh, so I really dig that. It feels feels really nice. So let's get this in here. All right, so that is all put together. So now 
close that up. And we've got our extreme kit. Oh, they've even branded it here on the side. That looks really good. Uh, hopefully you can see that uh, like there. Uh, all this looks really, really good. I love just the simpleness of it. Again, I love the feel of it. It's got a good heft. Uh, so let's go ahead, throw an operating system on here and uh, see what it does for thermals. Okay guys, so here we are on my desktop. Uh, we are logged into the Raspberry Pi that Kanakit sent over. This is their extreme kit with the aluminum case and that really cool uh, design for the heat sink that's built into the case. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to install a stress tester uh, just so we can, uh, well, do exactly that and see what a good job or what a bad job, possibly, but I doubt it, uh, the, uh, the case does for our uh, Raspberry Pi. So we've installed stress. Now we're gonna go ahead and get that. That was super fast. And let's go ahead and run this or install that rather. And then let's, oops, not that. Do a control L to clean that up. All right, so right now we're sitting at 46.2. Uh, we're gonna let this run for uh, a few minutes and see what happens here. I'm not really worried about how fast uh, the, the system heats up. I'm really more worried about the, uh, the, the, the top, the highest temperature uh, and what it sustains there. Uh, again, the, the ramp up isn't really a big concern to me. It's a matter of how well it does maintaining uh, whatever that max temperature is without of course overheating. Okay guys, so it's been about 10 minutes, maybe just a little bit more now, and we can see that about the highest temperature we reached was 61.8 degrees Celsius. Um, and that was just very briefly, um, but what I can say is it looks like it's gonna hover kind of in that, you know, 59 to 61, 62 degrees. Uh, that's a sustained load for more than 10 minutes. Uh, chances are you're never gonna do that. So the likelihood of it uh, ever reaching max capacity as far as the thermal limits of this are, are pretty low. Now, keeping in mind that this is, uh, this is not overclocked at all. This is uh, stock settings uh, across the board. Nothing's been modified, no voltage changes, no CPU adjustments, no GPU adjustments, nothing like that. So I think if you were going to use this and you wanted to overclock, I think you'd be perfectly safe to overclock your Raspberry Pi a little bit and, and still be able to use it uh, without uh, too much of a risk of overloading uh, the, the thermal capacity of this case. So uh, I wanna say well done to Kanakit in regards to building this case and making the, the case really thermally conductive to, uh, to really dissipate the heat. I will say touching the case is fairly warm. Uh, so definitely uh, if, you, if you do this, be aware that if you touch it, it's not gonna burn you, but it's gonna be uncomfortable. So if you wanna get one of these cases or kits for yourself, uh, again, this is the uh, Kanakit Extreme Kit that they sent over. I will have a link to this in the description down below uh, where you can buy one, get more information, that sort of thing. So I think with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.